Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be unboxing my May Ipsy, Waxy Charm Ipsy box. I know this one is coming in very, very late. I got this in the mail the same time I was going out of town, so I haven't had time to sit down and film this until now. I know this is going up on the 1st of June, but this is my May box. It still counts. I'm still very excited about it. I'm just going to open my June one in the near future, so it's fine. So anyways, you guys know the drill. We are going to unbox this all together, see what's inside, see what we can try out. So before we get into it, please give this a big thumbs up for me and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much if you do. But if you wanna see me unbox my May Ipsy box, stay tuned for the rest of the video. Okay guys, we could just get right into it because I don't wanna be blabbering too much about this box. I just wanna open it and see what's inside. So as usual, I opened the tab, but I promise I did not peek inside. I don't know what's in there. And then you just have like all of the different Ipsy, Boxy Charm, Glam Bag, whatever's, Instagram handle, Facebook, Twitter, or TikTok, sorry, TikTok. And then you open it up and it says Ipsy. And then I have these pulled up on the website. I'm just gonna go from what comes up first on the website so I'm not like digging through the box. And then obviously you get the little newsletter too and then you can scan the QR code and it takes you to the website where like the contents of the box are, which also super cute. May 2024 is the secret garden. I love that. So let's see what we have. First product is by Jasmine Beauty. This is the first time I'm hearing about this brand, but it's the Beachside Bronzer in Medium. Is this a cream bronzer? No, it's a pressed powder bronzer and it's supposed to give your skin a natural and warm sun kiss look all year round. It's infused with hyaluronic acid and jojoba seed oil to make your skin look hydrated. And then this goes for $28. So I would say that's pretty normal pricing i guess for this kind of a product so here it is jasmine beauty this packaging is super super cute let me open this up really quick i like feel like this looks like a cream bronzer to me for some reason this packaging is very plasticky i wish it was a little bit better quality for 28 dollars but that's okay if the quality of the product is good then we'll see this is very dark though so it's making me a little bit nervous that it's going to be too dark for me but i guess we'll see the product itself feels a little bit scratchy on the back of my hand. It's not like soft or anything like that. Here it is back here. It's not, it's like a little bit cool toned, which I do like. It's not super insanely dark, but it's a little bit darker than I would go for myself, but maybe that's an Ipsy thing and not a Jasmine Beauty thing. So let me take a bronzer brush. I'm just gonna dab it in here a little bit and see what it does on my cheeks that is definitely dark a little goes a long way with this stuff but it's actually pretty like i feel like it's giving me like a like a very much contoured like it's like a cool toned chocolatey brown and i actually really like it i obviously already have products on my face but what this did for me on top of the other products i really like like i feel like it looks really smooth it blended right into everything else. Like, I think it looks really pretty. And I'm actually a fan. So I'm gonna keep playing with this. Next up, we have, ooh, Murad. I love Murad, and I think I'm gonna use this today. It's the Renewing Cleansing Cream. So this goes for $45, it looks like. It's a full size, obviously. And it's supposed to turn from a silky cream into a lather that lifts away oils and impurities from the day. So it has lactic acid, peptides, apricot oil, and it's supposed to brighten your complexion and replenish the skin's natural moisture barrier, which I need right now because it is getting to be that time of the month for me. And I feel like my skin is really, really suffering this time around. I, I'm just like so broken out and I feel like I need something that's going to help and hydrate my skin because I also have dry skin on top of all that. So yeah, I'm gonna be using this today for sure. But here it is. 
This is ginormous, by the way. Like, I love that you get such a huge size product. This is 6.75 ounces. That's ginormous. So let me take the little tab off and see what it looks like inside. Obviously, I can't try this on my face on camera for you guys, but I do want to see what the little swatch is like. Oh my god, it's almost like shiny. I don't know if you guys could see it on camera, but that literally looks like shiny to me it's really pretty it feels like really like gooey i know that may sound kind of gross but it feels really really nice it smells really good too it just smells like clean like it smells like skincare which i really really like but obviously that's all i've got with that one so far i'm super super excited about this like i feel like murad products are really really good quality and i am always down to try new skincare and help my skin out especially at a time like this so i will keep you guys posted uh, about that one once i try it out more next up is from tys beauty which is also a new brand to me it's clean beauty and it's their lip butter so this goes for 20 dollars. it's cruelty free and vegan which i love it's in the color toast which looks like a brown to me on the website and then it just says it's supposed to be a buttery treat for your lips and it's going to help hydrate and soothe and add irresistible shine it has shea butter collagen properties so it's going to give me a sheer brown tint let me find this baby cute in here first of all and then taking it out of the little box Ooh, it's glittery too i love this packaging i think this is super cute and it's super unique i feel like this stands out in like your lip drawer because of the shape and everything like that like i feel like you don't see too many lip products that look like this so i love the uniqueness about it let me untwist the cap i like the doe foot applicator it's just like a standard one now let me oh yeah this is like perfect like in here it looks scary like it looks like your lips are gonna be like dark brown but look at this swatch on the back of my hand like that is just the most subtle wash of color which i love i love these kind of products lately i've been obsessed with like lip butters lip oils things like this so let me just try it on the back or on the back of my lips on my lips i have color on here already obviously so i'm not gonna get like a true true determination but you can see it right here it's beautiful and it smells so good it almost smells like chocolate which i'm obsessed but okay let me see that definitely darkened up my lips you guys i feel like that actually did make a difference but it's beautiful again it's like a wash of color it didn't like totally change the color of my lips it just added a little bit of that like brownie depth to them and it just added so much shine like my lips are insanely shiny right now so i'm a huge fan i really really love this so far two thumbs up next up lys beauty i have heard of this and it's their triple fix brightening concealer have i tried this before now i'm like not remembering but i feel like i may have tried this no i don't think i've tried this specific product but i know i've tried others from lys so i think the packaging was super similar for me so it goes for 19 dollars. i would say that's pretty good like standardish pricing for concealer maybe a little bit less than like a normal concealer i don't know um so it's supposed to give you coverage but it's going to give you a natural skin like finish you're supposed to be able to build and layer without it settling into your lines and your pores so it's good for highlighting and concealing obviously it's a full size and then like i said 19 bucks so i'm just going to do like the teeniest little bit because i have product on my face already but i'm going to swatch i feel like that's a good ish color match i guess we'll see maybe it could have been a little bit lighter and a little bit less warm this looks warm tone to me and i like more neutrals but it feels like thin yet like hydrating and like thick at the same time that's like the weirdest description i could have given you but it's somehow both so let me just do a little bit right here yeah it's a little bit dark a little bit here even though it seemed like it was a little bit darker 
when I was putting it on, I feel like it's giving me like some brightness to my under eyes. And I feel like it's making me look awake. Like it didn't settle into any lines or anything like that. Like it, my eyes look hydrated underneath. So I'm a fan so far. Last but not least, we have from Siat London. I am woman 24 shade eyeshadow palette. It goes for $45. This is a ginormous palette. Oh my gosh. So it goes for $45, which is pretty nice for a palette with 24 shades in it. That's a lot. It's cruelty free. And then it says it's supposed to be a uh, heartfelt tribute to the unwavering spirit of women. It has 24 shades, soft browns, subtle nudes, buttery mauves, intense metallics, and then it has a very creamy formula. So I like what I'm hearing so far. It's nice. It has a nice mirror on the top. It's like a good quality mirror, so I like that. I love that the palette is huge. It's like a cardboard-ish kind of packaging though. The outside is okay to me. It doesn't stand out. The shades they look very nice, but they also look kind of dull to me for some reason. And I feel like that has been the case with a couple Seat London um, eyeshadow palettes. So I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt. I'm gonna swatch these really quickly and then I'll come back and show you guys what they look like. So give me one second, I'll be right back. Okay guys, here is the swatch. I had to do the last four shades on the side over here because I didn't have enough room on my arm. But these are actually really, really pretty. I do really like the shades. I feel like they look kind of dull when you look at them in the palette. But on the back of my arm, I love what they're giving. Like, I feel like a lot of these are things that I would actually reach for. Maybe not like the cooler toned purples. But I feel like a lot of these others I would see myself grabbing for. So I'm just going to quickly take a shade or two. Just something super quick and do a little bit of an eye look. I'm probably just gonna take, <laughs> I don't know, one of a kind right here. Or no, 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 I'm gonna take Empowered right here. Little fallout, but that's fine. Ooh, this is gorgeous. I love this color. And now I'm just gonna take that one right under it, Fiercely Fab, this like pinkish and just do my lid. That's beautiful, you guys. I don't know how much you can see, but it's so pretty. I love the light pink with like that muted pink as the base. It's super, super cute. And I really love how they applied. The quality is very good. They are super creamy and they're so pretty. So huge thumbs up for me. I think this whole palette or I mean this whole box this month was a huge win. I'm so excited about every product in here. They're all things that I actually see myself grabbing for and using. So I'm really, really excited about this one. It was a success, but that's it for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment and let me know what you think about what I got in my box. If we got similar things, if we got different things, let me know. Give this a huge thumbs up for me and please subscribe to my channel, but stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next video.